Hello, I'm Norman Tunzo. I'm Daniel Anthony. I'm Charlie. I'm Tasha. And, and you're listening to the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode 76. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Hello, Norman. Hey, Daniel, how are you? I'm okay. Welcome to Kuala Lumpur. Thanks. Um, it's strange. We're in the same room, but I'm not looking at you. <laughs> yep. 21st century, everybody's looking at their computer screens. Indeed. What is this generation coming to? I don't know. Pink fluffy unicorns, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> so anyway, um, joining us today will be Charlie. Hey, Hello. I wonder if that picked up. I don't really notice it. And then this is like a little small blip on the radio. Yeah, yeah, there, there he is, there he is. <laughs> okay. MacBook microphone, very sensitive. Indeed. How are you, Dan? How are you, Charlie? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Fine, thanks. Um, thanks for letting us record at your home. Yeah. But we need to go fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast! Oh, don't start. <laughs> so anyway, moving on, we have another host. She hasn't been on in a while. She has been doing stuff. And we present you, the only girl on the show, Tasharina. Hey, Touch, how are you? I'm good. It's good to actually be able to see your face. Indeed, this is the first time we met. Yeah, we've never actually met in real life, so this is like a nice refreshing change. Indeed. <laughs> I-, I only know your voice. <laughs> oh yeah, you all haven't met before. Yep. <laughs> this is the first time, but I know her for like, what, a year now? Yeah. Uh, or half a year? On. Pictures, people, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> pictures and Skype, they, they always help. Yep. So anyway, we don't have a guest this week since I'm doing a live show in a front of a studio audience of two. Yay us! Woo! Yay! Ladies uh, and gentlemen, give it up! Yay! Oh, insert crouch here, here. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's move on to the next topic and that is housekeeping. And in today's housekeeping, today, on Tuesday, when this show comes out, is Annalie Heat's birthday. And from everyone on the NBA show, we wish you, Annalie Heat, a very happy birthday. Yep, happy birthday, Annalie Heat. Yes. Woo! She's the Swedish Spitfire. Yes, she's awesome. I must get her on again. So anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Wow, I'm moving really fast now. And in the next topic is news time. And in today's news time, Ultra Pro have pony products. In the previous episode, we have mentioned a lot about the My Little Pony card game and its accessory by Ultra Pro. Now that the card game has been officially announced, Ultra Pro has released their selection of of pony products. The products that you can get are deck protectors with DJ Pony Tree, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie designs, a four pocket portfolio featuring art from the show, and a play mat with rubber backing. Links can be found in the show notes. I am personally happy and I'm personally hyped. I know a friend of mine who owns a card shop is going to get me this stuff and I am going to buy most of them. Inside job, dang, dang. Somebody's lucky over here. <laughs> Indeed. No, but seriously, you guys, don't you want to play any card games so you can just buy them? Didn't I repeat how many times I can't even master Blackjack? You want me to master a whole new card game? <laughs> oh, the pony card game is simple. The pony card game is simple. That's what they all say. Yeah, but yes, indeed. technically it's not really fully out yet. It's we, 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 I mean, at this point of time, we only see a few of the images, but we don't really know the full mechanism of how the game works. So I think it's a bit too oh, to say. somebody said it or somebody posted a yeah. video on how to play it, and it seems interesting. I, I am hyped, and I'm going to buy some products because I do play other card games, so this is going to be fun for me. What about you, Tosh? I guess with all card games, it's very much experiential. So unless I actually try it out for myself and see what it's like, I won't know. But of course, I'm very excited because it's pony stuff. Hey! Yeah, and here's a picture. We can see here some of the products. And you know what? I think you should just play a card game and just to buy this stuff. I think I'll just put... Like, I'll just pick up magic and get down to it. <laughs> I'm just going to put that in my 52 card deck and you know, start playing poker with it. Poker. You know, you could do that. You want to you wanna hold a poker face and you see Pinky smiling at you and then you start smiling and then you're like, okay, this guy's getting creepy, this guy's getting creepy. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Charlie, why don't you take it? Sure. On the next topic, Funko, Spitfire and Sweetie Drops, aka Bon Bon, are out for sale. In case you didn't already know, me and Norman are big fans of these fine new ponies and we've recently acquired a Minky Mai and Myra. Did you I mean, see that right? No, it's Pinkie Pie and Lyra Heartstrings. Oh, it's live already. I knew there was a problem with that. Yes. So, we have acquired these two, and according to reliable sources from EQB, which is a picture... EQB then, itself is a reliable source. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Satisto, you're awesome. There is a Spitfire Bonbon bon, um, Sweetie Drops available right there, in picture form. And it's priced at fourteen ninety nine. So, I could say that 
with quite certainty that these things are true and apparently somebody derped and released these things out early. So, what do you guys think of these figures? Real or possible? It is real, it's but... It's very hard to Photoshop that kind of <laughs> realism. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And sweetie... And sweetie... Damn it, John Bond looks adorable. <laughs> sweetie yeah. drops. So Spitfire <laughs> looks like she's been through a hard day. Yeah. Pretty much confirmed yeah. for... Yeah. I don't think the price is going to be that, because this is Toys R Us price. And if we're going to buy from Hot Topic, the price is going to be, what, 16 bucks? Yeah, that? 16 50 standard yeah. across all But I, I think it is interesting because somebody derped and put them out early. So this is actually the supplier's price. <laughs> we could be. had. Could be. Actually, no, but been had. I don't it's like I had. come to you from the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, <laughs> I'm... <is> already out. <laughs> seriously, I'm really hyped for the next batch because from spoilers I've seen, they're going to come up with... DJ Pone 3 and Octavia. Mm-hmm. So that set is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm finding it very hard to, you know, say no to that space that Bon Bon has. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute! You have to buy it, man. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. And, well, Tash, why did you take this one since you haven't been doing this much? Well, let's see if I still have it then, right? Okay, right. on to the next topic. All on board the season four hype train. Can you choose? Chaka chaka chaka. As some of you might know, season four will be coming out this year. Woohoo! And a lot of bronies are excited about the news. Well, if you're not excited, like really, why aren't you? If you have not boarded the hype train yet, Megan McCarthy has recently released a tweet asking Jason Theason why the animation was so awesome. Is that not enough a reason for you to get hyped up for this? Like seriously? Check out the links in the show notes for more info about this. And to board the hype train if you haven't already, you know, just because. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Friendship Express is leaving straight for your bedroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, no. Um, which crowd is awesome. I have to say, this This is interesting. Like, I've seen the animatic and I'm already hyped. And if Megan McCartney is just releasing hype tweets about animation, then I can't wait to see what's going on on season four. Megan season... Season 3's animation was not bad. Yeah, but they were lacking in episode number. Yeah, mm. but the animation was good. They shall make up for it. If you've seen the progress of the animation, like how much it has progressed to this point, then you can't help but be excited about the possibilities of season 4, I, I think. True, true. Yeah. It's really interesting, like the whole animation thing from season 1 to 3, there's a big leap in progress. I would have to agree with that. Especially much in... Um, Season 2 we see improvement and season 3 just just keeps on getting better. True, and if if they really want to do for let's see um, well, they did the movie and the movie was all in Flash so, really? yeah, it was in Flash so basically if that works out well I can't wait to see what they're doing in season 4 with 26 <coughs> episodes So anyway to let, Let's show of hands, who here is hyped for the hype train? I am, uh, <laughs> I'm not yet on the hype train. Oh, Dan, you non-believer, you. I missed it. Ah, uh, boo, you, boo. There'll be another one that comes around. Boo. So. I'm hopping on the hype train. Woot, woot. I'm not going to run after it. Uh, boo I'm going to hit you. by a train once, I'm not going to get hit by a train again. Boo. So anyway, um, that's news time, and let's move on to the next topic. And in the next topic is topic time. we got no guests this week, so <laughs> we're going we're gonna to wing it. We're all under the same roof for the first time in one and a half years. Indeed. Yay. All of the show crew. That is interesting. All of the show crew is under one house. That is so cool. That sounds like a reality TV show waiting to happen right there. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So anyway... <laughs> the NBS show life. So anyway, on this kind of um, anniversary cast, I won't say that, but on this first time where everybody's under one roof, we're the just going to... Yeah, why not reunion? It's not even a reunion. It's the union. It's the first union. It's like, for your information, listeners... Since the day this show was created, all four of us have never been in the same room together. Indeed. <laughs> well, anyway, everybody's here, everybody's having fun. So, let me start off by asking you guys a question. How are you all doing? I am still it's bad. alive. Me. <laughs> Claps for being alive. <laughs> so, Tash, uh, how, is it, how does it feel being live in front of, um, well, live doing a show with me and everybody here, like... 
How does it feel? You know, sitting uh, next to such a star. Oh my like. god, the aura is just like so much to take in. I'm like flabbergasted right now. <laughs> you're, you're, you're just using your mumbo jumbo fanfic writing, aren't you? I don't think I've actually used flabbergasted yet. I should work that in. <laughs> um, but it's it's a good feeling. It's been a while since I've actually been on the show, so this is like very nostalgic in a sense that I. Uh, I've been doing this for almost a year non-stop and to say this is nostalgic I would say that too because I haven't nope it's work as usual <laughs> true Business. but just another day in the studio yeah but I haven't <laughs> recorded with Tash in a while so it's going to be fun Oh, that's what makes the job fun yeah true indeed <laughs> if it's like monotony every week he's getting tired of me so, no not really um, editing the show is fun editing the show is fun especially um, deleting the dirt that you, you always use <laughs> Yeah, Norman has having to, you know, call up Sweetie Belle and say, hey, Daniel just cursed again. I need you to help me censor that out. You curse a lot. I know. Oh, boys. Not even Sophisto had to... I I didn't have to edit Sophisto out. You must be alive. Well, 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 this is fun. But no, uh, Charlie, we're in your house right now, so how are you... How are you taking it? This is the second time we did a show this at your place. This is interesting, actually, because the last time we did this was uh, probably half a year ago, maybe? Not really. Um, in months? February. February. That's February. That is half a year ago. That's six months ago, exactly. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. a year ago. Wow. Well, it's August, guys. Time flies when you're having fun. That means the show's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot to take in, um, but it just shows that we've come a long way, actually. Even as a small group, we've managed to achieve quite a lot in Past year, yeah. I think we should go to way to the Wayback Machine when me and Tash recorded the first episode. I, I yeah, you it, can find it. No, it's not out. Basically, I, I call the it the last episode. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you can find it, you need no, to dig it out. Audacity, like no. corrupted files. Your I place. guess yeah. I might have it somewhere. <laughs> Send it to those oh, people that God. magnetically scan the pieces of your fragments it of your might, hard drive. It might like, still be in my computer, like oh. lurking in the depths of my hard drive. <laughs> oh, I, I call that the epi- um, MBS show episode zero. <laughs> Session one, not MP3. <laughs> the out? prologue. It's not out at all? No, the no. lost tapes. Okay. Okay, the thing was, the thing, okay, here's an interesting thing. I think when we recorded the episode, what was it? What was out back then? Um, what episode was it? Uh, I think it was... Um, the I don't remember anymore. It was was it still season season two? So it was and only at the start of season two, right? I think there, near it? the middle. It was the a friend indeed. That was the a episode. A friend indeed. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We we were talking about it and we were talking how about the song came leaking out and then yeah, the, that's right. So, so like, oh, we we tried to review that episode like like. If anybody remember how we review episode, it takes us twenty minutes to review an episode. Yes, so basically, just watch the show. If you've ever yeah. heard the MBS yeah. show episode negative one. No, 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 no. Uh, yes. Well, that, 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 that one took like half an hour. I think half yeah, an hour, no. forty minutes. Oh gosh, you, you heard that? that? No, no. What the? When we when we yeah. wanted to record this one that came before that. No, no, no. Push, oh. push. We were talking about this one now. <laughs> That's not the PG script as well. Yeah. So. But no, um, basically that episode was. Really interesting, and it didn't came out. <laughs> my my audacity crept out on me, and no episode. <laughs> We're so sad at the same time. It was. It was like all our hard work of sitting there for one and a half hours. I think it was almost yeah, almost two hours. Almost actually. two hours, and nothing nothing came out of it. Like yeah. oh. it was, yeah, it was like the great and powerful Trixie played mind <laughs> tricks on us, huh? <laughs> and now we do that every week on Bless Garage Band. Indeed. <laughs> no, like half two hours. Oh, that's nothing. The only person who can break Garage Band is well, Final Draft. <laughs> <laughs> and and Duo Cartoonist, Duo Cartoonist. A final Draft is awesome. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know. I mean, comparing what happened back then and now, it's way different. Like the show now has a format, and we have regulars, me and Dan and Charlie sometimes. And Tash, you need to be a regular again. Regular? Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys miss having me around. I'm touched. Oh. <laughs> we, need, we need a feminine touch on the show. Yeah, Basically, touch. Excuse me. <laughs> you're not feminine then. The way you are. We're a feminine. show talking about cartoon ponies. Six of them are female. Yeah, and the hosts are all male. So no. The balance is already there. No, no, no. Hearts and Tuesday special, anyone? Oh, that's going to so, be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we have live guests here, so I think we should turn it to them to ask questions or something like that. I mean, no, 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 you're not running away, get back here. <laughs> we need to tie them up. Applejack, you can help us right now if you want to. Yeah, but anyway, uh, let's give it out to the audience in front of us, all two of them. 
So we'll just ask them a question. No, we'll we'll ask them to ask us a question. Let them ask us a question. <laughs> how does that work? The, we, we ask, we ask questions. Them to ask, ask. That's how you do. We ask four questions. We beg thee for questions, good audience. Indeed. So anyway, um, you dear good sir, good you don't sir. have to say out loud, but just any questions. We don't understand sign language, so you'll have to tell us somehow. I guess it's going to take a while for them to come up with questions because they're putting them on indeed. the spot. Yeah, indeed. So let's That's okay, you can ask us as well. Anything you have in mind. I've got a question for Norman. Ah, sure, what is it? Do you have any interesting plans for upcoming shows? Well, let's see. I do have a few guests lined up. Um, I'm going to try and get a returning guest on. Ooh. And besides that, um, nothing special. Just basically, I have a few shows lined up. Uh, I want to try to get a returning guest on, and I might do a crossover episode with Alicon Radio in the future soon. Ah, oh, that'll be good. Yep, it's yeah, been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. And I don't know about it. But... <laughs> uh, there's nothing. It's serious. now we do. True. And us. <laughs> but when this show comes out, the timing is going to be all haywire. Yep. That's what happens yeah, when you record yeah. for the past to the future. Okay, it's now crazy. this question I'm going to ask Daniel. Go ahead. <laughs> Who would you pick? Would you pick? If a girl picked me. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't get it. No. <laughs> Who would you pick? Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, hmm. or Carly Rae Jackson? Uh, let's see. Uh, if if you were to do better, if I go gay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> no, no comment there. Well done. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Okay, that's interesting. Wow, uh, I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> Neither was I, and we're related. No, if you, if, you, if you gave me, like, you know, something more related to the show, if you asked me Tabitha St. Germain against uh, Tara, Tara Strong and Ashley Ball, I'll be like, okay, yeah. now, you, now you put me on the spot. <laughs> no, but still. Um, It'll be Tabitha, by the way. <laughs> well, um, that was an interesting question from Tasha's little sister. Which she's eight, I think. Yeah, she's eight. But yep. acts like a 12-year-old. They're getting more mature these days, but I don't know what they're putting in kids today. <laughs> like, asking relationship Blame questions. Blame down on teachers. Blame down on teachers. Blame down on teachers. Please don't blame it on your big sister, because I don't know what on earth they're teaching you, okay? Yep. It's not my fault. A couple of years in Australia, you come back, what is going on? <laughs> what, I wasn't here for five years, and look what happened. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Chaos. Just we better move on before I start talking about the government. Oh, shush. Okay, moving yeah. on. Anyway, this question goes out to each and every one of you. Okay. Who do you idolize in the fandom? I mean... So basically it's, uh, who do we idolize or who do we... Um, people in the fandom that you idolize. Yeah. Yes. Basic, uh, basically, brony, fan, uh, brony yes. celebrities. Brony celebrities. Eh? Okay, so Charlie, why, uh, no, Tash, why don't you go? Because you haven't been talking much. Oh, gosh. Uh, this is going to take a while for me to think. Someone who already has an answer, please go ahead. Charlie? There's just so many to choose from. Oh, idolize. Hmm. Well, we have a policy. We allow multiple choices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly idolize, but perhaps... Inspire. Uh, you. Uh, inspire or yeah. interest. Interesting. No, that's, that's, that's a tough question because there's so many. Okay, here's the thing about this Pony fandom. It's very, very, and very um, wide. So we've got musicians, we've got artists, we've got people who do reviews, we've got people who maintain blogs, we've got people who organize events. So I would, I would say there's not part, one particular person, but rather a group of people, perhaps. So people who relay information and get the word across out, I think that they are doing a good job. Well, like, okay, if you think about it, um, blog ponies. Yeah. They aggregate all the content for people to view and for everyone's enjoyment. I think that's a pretty good um, thing for them to do. So I would say, like, question, the people that question daily, a group, has managed actually to uh, do something good for, for all of the fans, to spotlight uh, more prominent people and... Um, Get 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 basically get the word out there that these people exist. Yay! That's cool. That's cool. What Zero, about you then? DK, uh, Calpain, Seth, and the whole gang. Yep. What about you then? Actually, for me, for a while, it has been uh, one of our previous guests. It's a uh, Saber Spark. Oh, really? Because he's very committed to also getting the word out there that they're fans and showing the world that hey, you know, we're a fandom that exists, and he and I can share a lot. He and I share a lot of uh, you no. Know, to say that grievances when the fandom gets its bad rap from a lot of things and he wants to show the world that hey we're not he doesn't give up the fight that you know 
let people think what they think about the fandom. We're just going to live on. He's more of, we want to show them this is our argument, this is why we're like this, and not the whole fandom is all, you know, guys who have a weird fetish or something like that. Okay. So cool. it's basically people like him and uh, people who've done brony documentaries. Well, uh, John Delancey isn't really particularly brony since he worked on the show, but yeah, people like that. And of course, to those who run media outlets as well. Yeah, uh, Final Draft. And Apple Cider, Chef Sandy, how many others? Ethan Pao, Norman Senzo, okay. plenty more. <laughs> uh, what about you, Tosh? Um, I thought about this now, now that two people have gone before me. Mm. Um, and my answer is actually along the same lines as Charlie. I think I don't really have one person that I particularly idolize, but I have a sense of respect and admiration towards the Melbourne community that I was involved in back in Australia. Everyone was really committed, um, no matter if it was like running events or um, getting the word out there, and everyone was just really welcoming. I think that was one of the reasons why I got into the fandom as much as I did, because the people were really just there for you, and that's what I love about our Boney community, that everyone just comes together just for this one purpose, and it doesn't feel right to just admire one person because everyone has done their part in some way or another. Mm-hmm. Are, yeah. you, are you about to cry? What? Are you about to cry? It sounds like you're about to cry. No, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Emotional inducing, but no, I'm, I'm not going to cry. But mm. yes, to every one of you Bonies out there who have contributed or not in some way, you have. And I think it's awesome that you're in the community. Keep on being in it. <laughs> awesome. Well, as for me, I don't know. I mean, I would be biased by saying who I like because they're the people I want to talk to. But essentially, the show is about me getting to know people and talking to people. Because professional bias. Professional bias, indeed. So the thing is, the show is for me to talk to the people I really want to talk to. But if you're asking me who do I hold a high respect for, I have to say, number one, is going to be Dusty because he he's... A very old pony. I think he's 44 or oh, 45. Very old. Five starts at 40. Young, young at heart, man. <laughs> you said very old pony. Uh, he's considered... He's you know, a wise pony. Yeah. That way. No, he's but, the but, master but, Yoda of the fandom. True. But basically, he's he's an elder pony that everybody respects. And he, he <laughs> earns the that. respect. He earns the respect. He does, yeah. And just the way he thinks, just the way he says stuff. Like, he's one person that... Everybody admires to grow up to be. Yeah. Doesn't really care about what other people say. Like, mm-hmm. live his own life. Kind he of challenges way. the biker stereotype. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, not only him, I also high, um, hold a high respect for people like um, Black Griffin and others like him because Black Griffin is an interesting guy when I met him. He's basically an entertainer, a friend, and also a person who wants to hear your opinion like he doesn't really uh, close one ear and go like ignores you like kind of deal he remembers you he talks to you he basically it's like a down to earth kind of yeah. person right yeah that's really great and I don't know there's a lot more like recently I've been talking to Leon uh, Lionheart Cartoon he's the guy who did yeah. Children of the Night I was confused Leon and Lion he's not Leon he's just Lion but Leon has a Y no, L I O N because no, you know. Leon has a Y. Yeah. Anyway, um, he he's interesting. Like, he doesn't hold himself at a at a high regard, even though after what he did, basically he did Children of the Night, and that is one of the most amazing PMVs done ever. But that crew of two people, he basically did that project because he wanted to have a portfolio to show people at. Um, conventions or animation conventions what he can do to get a job that's about it nobody helped him people even said I can help you but he turned them down just because he said that this is a project for me and my wife to have a basic portfolio just to have a job if I put you on this project it's kind of not fair yeah it's basically not a portfolio anymore yeah so I do respect that and he is a cool down to earth guy he played magic by the way yeah, he was a, <laughs> Just insert the geek card in there. Yeah, and basically, he is a Pokemon... He used to be a Pokemon gym leader. Oh, wow. So, that is Fuck interesting. Off. Like, he is nerdy and geeky all around. Uh, I do have That's a lot more, but right now, I 
can't remember. Oh, um, Jack's Blade 07. Like, oh, Jack's Blade. Uh, he is another interesting guy. Harvey Dent! <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's interesting guy. Uh, he's... He's a buff brony. He works out. He's the type of nerd that you don't think exists. He puts broccoli in the blender. <laughs> he, is, he does bodybuilding, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a fitness brony. Yeah. Which is kind of, like, like I said, this fandom is really interesting. We have a, a skew thing. of people who do a lot of things. We have military brony, Excellent. we have musicians, writers. I, actually, I do have something to add about that. Um, you mentioned military bronies, mm. uh, bronies inside the Navy. Uh, bronies with this bodybuilding. All these people challenge this um, stereotype that the show actually, like, it's originally mm-hmm. meant for little girls, but they've just proven the point that uh, the show is actually meant for everyone and uh, anybody can enjoy it, not just little girls. True, and true. Works. The show is good. The show is good. They made it for, they made it good before, made it for tar- um, target audience. Mm-hmm. We have a third guest outside once again. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. actually me making the sound. <laughs> oh, Kitty. No. But, but then, yeah, go ahead. Uh, but I think that's about it because I can't remember who. Maybe the weekly shout outs like um, L5 and Fire Fire, they're, they're really awesome. But uh, thanks again for the question. It was a really interesting and question. And I just actually have one last to add is, add is that um, for some of the people in the fandom who actually take a lot of flack from people, it's like, why are you doing this? You're going into such a dangerous territory. Why don't, why don't you stop wasting your time? One person, I know there's plenty out there, but the one person I want to really acknowledge for that would be Purple Tinker. Yeah. She's been through a lot of flames, she's been through a lot of bashing, but she never gave up. And she started a convention that just had, you know, in this year's installment, 9,000 people <laughs> attending. Literally over 9,000. So uh, I believe it's closer to 7 or 8. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You take one look and you say it's over nine thousand. All right. Fine. I thought it was ten k. <laughs> really? Official. Well, I feel mad. So basically, as long as it's in four figures, that is already an amazing achievement. Well, don't be quote us mathematically that. wise, but it's a big amount of people. Yeah, it's, it's more than that. one. <laughs> it's not a party of one. She didn't put rocks and <laughs> true, one. indeed, indeed. Turnips there. Yeah, so but, yeah, flat. people who actually take a lot of bashing from the public and. I know PT lost, Purple Tinker lost her job because of BronyCon and that was a true sacrifice and true commitment to a fandom that she loved very much mm-hmm. yeah and it seems that we're running out of time and wow this is a short episode and editing is going to be fun for me <laughs> anyway um, I, I thank you for the guests who've been asking us questions especially to Touch Little Sister who asked that really interesting question <laughs> random question indeed <laughs> we didn't say what kind of question so yay <laughs> she was smart she saw through the loophole <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Man, this feels good. I can talk to Norma, I can talk to everyone here without the bloody latency that's caused by my internet connection. <laughs> what is it that I didn't hear you? Internet problem. <laughs> okay. But I, 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 I can get can, 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 here. Hush. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is shout outs. Um, my shout out goes to all of you. Um, Guess A, Tash, little sister, Tash, the cat. Charlie, Aww. Dan, the cat out there. The cat. And Big shout out um, to the cat. Uncle Pony. Pixel <laughs> kitties. <laughs> oh, boys. Um, thanks, thanks to you guys. Uh, thanks for hosting me and being on the show. Yay. It's, the host has been hosted. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you. Yay. True indeed, true indeed. Um, let's move. Daniel, what about you? Sorry? Who, who yes. do you shout outs to? Well, basically, all the people that I mentioned earlier, and of course, to. Well, all the people who made, I would like to say BronyCon, although I'm staying away from the videos for BronyCon because I get very jelly when I see it. <laughs> I should be there. I wish I was there. But yeah, to all the people who make the fandom awesome, big shout out to y'all. Sure. And Ian Chia for coming earlier. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a long time. I'd like to give a big shout out to the random girl who commented on my Applejack shirt this afternoon. Mm. I think oh, the name was Natalie or something. Natalie, okay, that's fan. right. Thank you very much for that comment. That was the first time they ever got an outside fan comment on our shirts. I, I did not know what to do. I was like, what's going on? This is the new occurrence. <laughs> We've been spotted, right? <laughs> oh, God. Why do Bronies appear? Are you okay? It's not. But anyway, Tash, what about you? Um, just because I'm in the mood, I want to give a shout out to my Melbournies back in Melbourne. So Miss you guys, and I'll come hang soon, hopefully. <laughs> yep. That's all it. Bring, yeah, us, that's bring it. us with you. 
<laughs> yeah, stuff you guys in my bag. Like, we'll work hey, something up. There'll be like this huge oversized baggage. I should be boxman. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, you can reach me at norman at mbsshow.com and daniel at daniel at mbsshow.com. Charlie at charlie at the MBA show dot com. Yes. Tasha at tasha at the MBA show dot com. Tasha, Tasha. Both work anyway. Okay. Anyway. Oh so, my God. Uh, actually, email wait. Us. You need to activate it. Otherwise, the mail bounces. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, you can email us or oh, the show. I, I prefer you email the show. I can just pass it along to anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember Norman bites. So. Yes. Anyway, Twitter. We have the titles. Yeah. You can follow at the MBA show for news Sweetie on. Bot. Yeah, Sweetie Bot. She does the. Hey, there's a Nyan cat that's following us. Awesome. Um, no. Um, wait, what? Nyan cat. Okay. So anyway, um, the MBS show for Twitter about the show's progression, when the show's coming out, if the show's coming out, and random... Tweets. If the show's coming out. It's always coming out on Tuesday. And <laughs> stuff. And you can follow me. I post pictures of food, toys, and stuff that's going on near me. If you follow me today, you'll notice me, picture, and touch. It's, it's cool. It's cool. And Dan, what about you? If you need assurance that no matter how bad your day is, that someone in KL is having a worse day, yeah, follow me. Yeah, uh, example, today he lost his parking ticket. <laughs> yeah. Second time, and I told myself, I'm not going to lose this ticket. And I did. Awesome. Yes. It's the one day I told myself, I'm not going to lose this ticket. <laughs> what about you, Charlie? I'm more of an email person, but I do have a Twitter. Um, well, strangely enough, kind of like, top, there are a lot of pop ups in there, but uh, maybe I'll clean it out someday. Oh, you. Bang. So, but where can they find you? Oh, this is basically where they can find you, my guys. What's, what's yes, your Twitter? Uh, Twitter handle is at BRCXY. And you, Dan? At St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. Okay, cool. And Tash, this has been a while. So, um, Talk yourself. <laughs> I have Twitter too. You can talk to me on there. I'm pretty much on there most of the time. At Tasha Irina. You can find it in the show notes as well. Indeed. So what can they expect from your Twitter? What can I expect? Food, um, plushies. I've been getting into making plushies. Bedtime wisdom. Bedtime wisdom. Uh, just a lot of random things, mostly. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So anyway, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. Links will be provided in the show notes. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. I've been Charlie. I've been Tasha Rina. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, Pinkie Pie, I thought that we were gonna throw one last party But now you're gone with no goodbye I wanna sit down and cry I can't see your face reminding me Look past the pain and find beauty in every day Every smile, you made it all worth the while Where is the laughter that you used to bring? It's gone forever, so I just need to sing. Oh, Pinky, where did you go? Why can't you show me one more reason to laugh? Sweet party girl One last light is in my world Without you Yes, it's true I don't know what I'm gonna do If I could see one more smile I would run a hundred miles In your direction Today I'd leave But it's all just make-believe You can't stay forever, no
Charlie, why don't you take it? Sure, I'll take the next news topic. So, apparently, Funko Spot Fire and... S- oh, God. <laughs> Spot Fire! <laughs> no, 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 title. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 another name! <laughs> no, no, that, 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 that's just on me. I'm sorry. How could you? It's fire. Hold me, hold me. Sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, done, done, done. Okay. Let's go. Auto-corrected, right, yo. Okay. <laughs> All right. In three, 